All right, what's up? It's MRI Man. I'm back again. This video is about a thing you should know before you're getting into MRI. Um, when I first got into MRI, like a lot of my teachers would tell me that it was a really kickback job and they would do maybe five or six patients and they would be kicking back, reading their magazine. And yeah, I had a teacher that would always say that. They'd be like, yeah, just make sure you have a good magazine and some good music. Yeah, you're gonna make good money, this and that. And I was like, wow, this is cool. I'm gonna have a pretty kickback job, something that's interesting. And I, I quickly found out um, when I got into my clinicals that everything he was talking about wasn't so true. It, it was busy, it was fast paced, and it wasn't really that kickback. Now, there is those jobs that are more kickback, you know, lesser volume, but just know be, before you get into this, if uh, despite what others have told you that, you know, you hear that they do five, six patients a day in an eight hour period and it's kickback, and that's not always the case. Um, on this channel, I'm gonna be giving you guys truly i'm not going to sugarcoat things um i'm not going to be like oh everything's all rainbows and stuff but you know especially at an outpatient center this this is um you know they have to make their profit and this is a job and they do make money and they don't get as much money as a hospital would for scans at outpatient centers so that's why you see that outpatient centers are busier and have a higher volume and now I understand that and I'm okay with things being busy. Um, it's just, it's something I didn't really know going in. So that's why I wanna tell you guys that our students are who are interested, just know that it can get a little busy and a little hectic sometimes. Um, it's something I just didn't know, you know? Um, I didn't expect that I was gonna come in scanning 20 patients today or have, um, you know, 30 patients, but, of course, you're work, you could be working along another tech helping you out, but I didn't expect it to be that busy. And I did get used to it, but I did see that um, for some people, it did like kind of break them and they just can't handle that many patients. So something you, just I'm putting into your guys' mind. Of course, you can find another job out there where it's more you know slower. Of course, if you're working at a hospital my experience there is that it would be somewhere around 10 patients but it would be different you know these patients are you know have to be sedated um, they need heart you know just like monitor their heart they are in a wheelchair all the time or in the gurney got to transfer them so it would take longer to get the patient on so it's a different kind of you know uh, deal there um, another thing I didn't know too much about when I got into MRIs how safety is huge. MRI safety is a huge deal. I always kind of knew going in, it was like, oh, it's a magnet, but I didn't know how many different kind of implants they are and how kind of normal it is for somebody to have something like a neural stimulator in their back, um, pain pumps, uh, pacemakers, and I didn't know that and I thought you could just kind of sl slap people in the machines and keep it moving but um, MRI safety is very huge you know and I didn't know it would it would be such a big thing you know till I was in clinicals and I would see I, w I thought it was rare you know but it's something you gotta be able to deal with and make sure your patients are safe going in and make sure you're changing them um, so those are those are two things that I was really not sure or didn't know about going into MRI. So just know that you're working at an outpatient uh, center. There's a business side to it. There's a patient care is not always number one, but there's always a business. You know, we don't want to be turning around patients, not getting them done. We want to at an outpatient center. We want to increase you know the volume, but we gotta just make sure that we're doing it safely and you're double checking um, your orders and making sure you're scanning the right you know areas and body parts um, i know that when i first started i didn't make 
I did make mistakes and I did rush through things and I try to stay on time, stay on, stay on time, do, you know, run back and forth. No, we got to, you know, but we got to make sure that, you know, you guys getting out of school, getting in clinicals, don't feel rushed. You know, try to, of course, try to stay on time, but really just make sure you're doing the right, the right thing, you know, make sure you got the right information because guess what? You mess something up, that patient's coming back. It's happened. It's happened to all of us. It's happened to me before. And I just try to get better every day, you know? And also, I, you know what else I didn't expect? I didn't expect to work somewhere where there was two machines and working along a team of, you know, techs where it'd be two machines back to back, one on each side, three techs, and then just boom, 40 patients, 36 patients, you know, 31 patients, and just busy. And when you're busy, you're gonna have a, you can have a variety of problems that happen, and all these problems can happen at once. So just kind of expect that and be mentally prepare yourself to, okay, machine's not working, images look bad. Oh, we got a wrong order on this side. We got a sedated patient over here. We got, you know, people that can't fit, a uh, patient can't fit on the machine. We got a Verifly uh, implant. We got the wrong order. We got, you know, all these things can happen, you know, at one time. And you got to kind of settle down, step back, assess the situation. All right, what do we got here? You know what I mean? You got a phone call. Your phone's ringing off. Hey, we got so-and-so, a patient uh, wants to talk to you on the phone about a procedure. You got that phone ringing. You got patients checking in late. You got all these things going on. You're, you're running late on your breaks. You're running late on lunch. And I'm just saying, I'm just throwing it out there, guys. I'm not saying you, every day is going to be, you know, a bad day, but there's going to be some bad days and it's gonna be hectic. Uh, you're probably you're gonna make mistakes, um, but just make sure patient safety. You know what I mean. Change them. Make sure they don't have implants. Verify the implants if they do, um, and just be safe, man. I mean, it's a magnet, but it's a very strong magnet, and you don't want to be bringing in any kind of, you know, magnetic materials, projectiles, and you don't want to be doing that. So. You know, I've just been doing it for almost over three years, and this is a lot for me to learn. And that's another thing. Don't think you know everything. You know, it's just MRI safety is, is fairly new, if you guys don't know that. It's not something that's been out since the 80s. It just started, I, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, in the 2000s when they had that safety, safety incident with the kid and the... Um, oxygen tank i don't i don't have to keep going over that but you know it happened and when it gets busy you know you got to slow down make sure you're doing the right thing so i just wanted to share that you know i try to be positive all the time i'm not trying to be negative but i'm not also i ain't trying to hide things from you guys so because i want you guys to know this before you get in or just to mentally prepare yourself you know it's going to be bad it's going to be crazy days you're gonna have you're gonna work with employees that are mad some days and you make mistakes management can be on you if you're not doing your job right so just i'm just giving you guys a heads up just like it's a you know it's a, med a medical field it's a business too you know they, they they need to make money so just prepared it can get a little hectic it's not all if you guys think that mri techs are just sitting around pressing buttons and just chilling all day you got it wrong it can get a little hectic so you be mentally stressful. It may not always be a physically demanding job, but it could definitely be mentally stressful. And it's important that you guys don't take that home and you just learn from your mistakes and you just keep trying to get better. I mean, that's all you can do, help each other out. Um, I do my best to do that. And yeah. I mean, these are just a few things I didn't expect that I'm, I'm thinking of right now. Other than that, I mean, I will catch you guys later. Um, comment below if you got any more questions for me. I will answer them like I always do. Um, everybody stay up. Have a good weekend. I will catch you guys later.